it came out of my own passion for piano that I wondered, you know, what happens if I have an extra finger? And so it started really with the robotics challenge. Can we build a robotic thumb that can, uh, you know, sit on the opposite side of the hand, um, of the right hand, and, and play music with it? Can we actually just do it? Can, can, we, can we learn to do that? And if you then do it, do you just use your four fingers and the extra thumb and, so to speak, abandon the natural thumb? Or can you also use always all six fingers for that? Once you play with that, at the start, it feels maybe a bit more like a tool uh, that is attached to you, like, you know, you're holding a drumstick or something like that in your hand and, and, and tapping on something. But then it becomes a bit more mushy, whether it's you or whether it's a tool or not. It becomes something very natural um, that's still dangling off and it looks completely artificial and the motors make whirring noises when you move it quick, quickly. But, you know, after an hour or two, it just feels like an extension of you to a certain extent. And the question really becomes, are you processing it the same way as you're processing a regular link? Or are you using new areas or higher areas of the brain that actually don't deal with the fine brain movements of the fingers? And it's, it's a very exciting moment in time now to, to, to see what we can do.